Nemo. <laughs> Released on February 12th of 2012, producer Connie Muso gave us the song Bacterial Contamination, and he also teamed up with the artist Dano to give us this trippy as all hell nightmare fuel promotional video. Seriously. Oh, and I'm sorry, I have to mention that in this video, that's not Miku. That's that's Dano's original character, Biku. Actually, no, that's not. I'm just being mean. But Dano has been reported as saying that this is his own original derivative of Miku, titled... Uh, what did he call this girl? I'm sorry, I have to look this up because I have three pages worth of information for this one song already open. Yes, he was, he was quoted as saying, the person in the video is not Hatsune Miku, but his own his own original derivative, who he called Kalne Ka. The 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 C A at the end is supposed to be a pun on the symbol for calcium because 
this character isn't anything but a calcified shell around a mechanical skeleton and it when you try to explain it it gets way too complicated so we'll just say that this video is a what the fuck nightmare fuel video especially since this video was done in complete 3D animation that that's really what catches your eye with this song because most video most vocal like promotional videos are just either animated or they're just pictures this one was full 3D animation and usually you don't get that unless the person makes a video in Niku Niku dance so yeah what is this song about let me just stop rambling what is this song about it's about bullying. Well, that wasn't that much of a stretch now, was it? No, this song is about bullying, specifically how cruel high school girls are, because even in the beginning of the song, as you see from the subtitles, they're ostracizing, I guess, this girl who used to be their friend, and basically making everybody in the school ignore her as well. Well, that's basically what ostracized means. Once. Once you're ostracized, no one talks to you. It's like a crime to talk to a person that's been ostracized. So, yeah, and this character is is interpreting her her being turned into an outcast as her literally having an infection because the the intensity in which no one wants to get near her is like not only she's an outcast, but she's a leper or something. So yeah, and then near the end of the video, in order to try and save herself from this miserable existence, she tries to push. On, she, she tries to push on her ailment, as she sees it, onto somebody else. And yeah, that's really how the song ends. I'm sorry. I'm looking at a still of the video, and it it kind of throws me off every time I look at my laptop screen. Okay, the song in and of itself, how is it? It's a very good song. Once again, it's a very great representation of Vocaloid Grimdark. I really like it. The the lyrics aren't too aren't too defined. It is still labeled as abstract, but it's not abstract to the point of other songs where you have to think, what the hell are they talking about? And the promotional video was very well done, it's just creepy as all hell because of the freaking calcified skeleton! So, yeah. And also, something that people may notice why some people have questions whether or not this is sung by Miku. Around this time, the Vocaloid company was toying around with the Vocaloid Append system, which basically adds six new voice banks to each Vocaloid. And they aren't really different character voice banks, but they're voice banks in which a character can sing really, really falsetto and things like that. The appends they have now are sweet, dark, soft, light, vivid, and solid. So yeah, there's a reason why even though this song is this song is sung by Miku, it sounds more like Luca, some people say. So yes, this was Month of Vocaloid with Bacterial Contamination. I'm gonna get this shit needs to get off my laptop screen right now. I'm I'm done, I'm done. <laughs>